Hi. Currently, I'm working on a faceplate. Uh, this is half inch steel. The hub actually came from Harbor Freight. They have a six inch faceplate that really is inferior. It's cast iron and the majority of it is of the faceplate is about an eighth of an inch thick. So it breaks pretty easy if you're doing large turning on out of out of balance loads, that kind of thing. So I brazed, I cut the 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 uh, Harbor Freight faceplate apart. Uh, this is a one-inch bolt, by the way, eight number eight thread or eight inch thread. Uh, I faced the the front. I brazed the hub in and faced the front off to try to get it perpendicular to the hub um, and currently I'm machining the outside off to just make it a little bit more uniform now uh, of course as you can imagine uh, the tool post has flex the uh, this is uh, one of those long nuts with a quarter twenty bolt in it to act as a, a machinist jack underneath to reduce the flex. I still get a bit of flex but uh, it's really not too bad. Uh, I thought I'd demonstrate a little bit. The turning tool by the way is bang good. So there you go. Uh, the Banggood turning tool has a carbide insert tip. It's really about a, a quarter inch. Uh, I don't believe it's quite as hard as other carbide tips I have. I'm not sure what the grade is. It's what they had to offer at a, a reasonable price. Um, so I've got two different turning tools that uh, use the same the same insert really not too bad um, the other turning tools I've ordered from Banggood have been pretty good but uh, I just thought you'd like to see how you manage to handle <laughs> oversized objects on a mini lathe there you go